I was going through my old repositories on GitHub and guess what I found today. I found a repository called Princess Finder. You can see that on your screen, right? This is a project that I made, I think, for a hackathon way back, almost like five years back, I guess, three, five years back. And the amount of machine learning or the AI awareness was much, much lesser than what it is today. On that time, I was experimenting how to build certain models, how to train certain models, and then once I'm able to train a model, how I can integrate that with a user interface, maybe with a React app and try to do something cool. So with all that, this particular project came out. I thought of quickly talking about this project, not to boast about it, but today we are talking about so much of AI, doing a lot of things with all the libraries out there. I just felt a connection, like, you know, something that I've done five years back was super cool then. Today, maybe I can start doing some of these things project-based and in future can teach you how to do all this integration, how to play around with AI, also the web interfaces, bringing them together, right? So let's take a quick look of this project called Princess Finder. So what is this crazy app about? I remember my daughter was very small that time and she used to play with a lot of those dolls, Disney princesses and everything like Elsa, Anna, you know, all those things. So what I did is like I trained a model with all those dolls and their images and then try to see if with a video I can bring those doll in front of the camera and then try to see if I bring those doll in front of the camera whether my model able to do the recognition really well or not that's what the app was about I hope it runs now you're able to see my picture over here already right I'm not a doll so I'm going to bring some dolls over here and I'm going to start this application so this is a picture of a Disney princess named Anna so if you see like when I'm bringing Anna's picture close to the camera is actually you know putting Anna as a highlighter also showing like you know what is the percentage matching what is that princess name it is matching to let's take another princess do you know who is this which princess is this yeah that's Elsa from Frozen right and you see this Elsa is highlighted over here the percentage of match is kind of 100 percent 98 percent we are also seeing like it is elsa let's go to another princess who is this this is ariel okay so it's kind of fluctuating between ariel and someone else let me just hold it very close yeah it's ariel we're seeing the percentage also and it's a proper matching let's go to another princess who is this this is jasmine right so i don't have the actual doll now because it's been five years my daughter stopped playing with them long back but I've taken this photo from mobile and trying to see whether the app still works or not. Okay, great. Let's go to something which is not any of these princesses. This is coffee, no dolls. So you're saying it is no dolls, right? This is no dolls. So you basically saw how it works, right? Interesting enough, right? Let's look into the code of it, like how we have achieved it five years back and what are the things that we have used. And let's see whether some of these things are still relevant and you can try out some of this application. So here is the princess finder application code. Let's see what is there inside. If I go expand SRC, this is basically a React project. And as I told, it's a, it's a project created long, long back. So if I go to package.json file, I'll see the React version is used is 17. Now let's do a quick run through of this project. Very, very quick run through. Let's go inside app.js file. All the code that we need is here. The first thing that you will see over here that I'm using something called a model.json file. What is this model.json file? And it is inside a model folder. So inside public, if I go to model, I have a model.json file, which is a huge JSON file. I don't think you have any need to look into this JSON file. This is created. This is the trained model. How I had created this, I'm going to get into that. But let's assume that I have a model.json file, which is well-trained. And periodically, you can also train and replace this model.json file as you need, right? So this particular file, I'm reading from app.js file. How am I reading? I'm reading it with an API called image classifier. So it means we are doing image classification. Image classifier is coming from a library which is called ML5. Okay, ML5 is a great library. We're going to look into that in case you don't know, not aware of it. What are the APIs available? So ML5 we are using from there, we are using image classifier and loading this model. And it also takes a callback, right? What is this callback is about? The callback helps us to get the streaming for from the video, right? When I was putting each of the princess's photo from my webcam, it was getting the stream. So that is the stream that is getting and we are assigning that stream to 
a particular video objects the web api that we get from javascript using that we are able to play that particular video as a stream and then what we do here we have a method called classify and this method is on something called a classifier that we get from the image classifier on classifier if we call the classify taking the stream that we are getting from the video and match it classify it using the model because the classifier is already have the knowledge or the awareness of the model and on the classifier we are calling the classify by passing the stream it will be able to now do the image classification and will be able to tell me what is the result of it the result will have what is a percentage match all this kind of information so that's basically i'm assigning to a state variable and then i'm using that in my jsx somewhere at the bottom here the result i'm passing to a component called princess as you have seen it uses a library called ml5 is image classification and then it work on a trained model to do the image classification and provide all the necessary output through a react app i'm sure around 2019 and 20 if i'm talking about ml5 js was one of the friendliest library for machine learning on the web today we have much more options out there but this was something which was very friendly even today if you want to use and play around with things you know as a beginner i think this is one library you are going to love you can get started with all available apis just include the js file in your project look into the apis that is provides for image classification sound classification you know sentimental analysis so this is a library you can use and start working on it now how about the model for model along with ml5 i use something called a teachable machine what is a teachable machine so teachable machine is a web based tool that train a computer to recognize your images your sounds your poses etc you can create any fun project where you can do some kind of sound recognition you can do image recognition the one that i have showed you just now getting started is pretty pretty easy you can just click on the get started and then select what kind of project that you want to generate the model for whether it's a image project audio project or post project we all understand right image means different kind of images object images that you can actually do same like this project audio is your sound voice pose is different kind of you know pose body pose that you can actually do so whatever you want to start with you click on that and then go for either a standard image model or the embedded image model let's go ahead with the standard image model here you can start your webcam so i have started my webcam i can hold and record like this see i'm holding recording holding recording so i'm creating different samples okay now here also let me create different samples i have created different samples after that you just start training the model is going to train it's going to take some time then is going to create your that model file that json file you know what i had showed you that you can download put it into your code or you can put it somewhere in the server with a fetch call you can actually get it you see over here this is showing me the output at the right side and then i can export this model yeah i can export this model i can download it i know i can then i can use it with ml5 you can use it with tensorflow whatever is required this was really cool man when i actually did this experiment i'm sure like today many more things are available but why suddenly i'm talking about this project it is because that i'm almost at the end of 40 days of javascript initiative and uh, you know that 35 videos are out 36 video is coming with a lot of things on the performance then debugging then the web apis and all these things then we are talking about interviews project but once we are done with 40 days of javascript i want to focus on building some interesting projects using javascript using react using nextjs applying different design patterns bringing ai into picture and this kind of project what i have done almost 5 years back motivates me a lot that i can do a lot lot more thing today because there are a lot more possibilities and the tools are available are you excited are you excited to join me on those projects are you excited to build those projects along with me you can do that subscribe to tapascript stay with tapascript keep supporting it i'm going to bring those content out for you so that you now enjoy building things with whatever you learn for with 40 days of javascript in case you have not started 40 days of javascript i would encourage you to look into this playlist even if you don't do the complete playlist want to do it partially please do it because that's going to make your fundamental really really solid and another thing the folks who are completing 40 days of javascript i have promised them that i am going to give them something that announcement will happen very soon stay tuned on channel stay tuned on discord and of course if you want to try out the princess finder project is there on my github the link is in the description of this video go ahead clone it 
try it, fork it, change it, whatever you want to do with this, do it. It's as an open source, it is available. You can play around with it. All right, guys, this was a fun video, but should give you a sense like why I am making this video. See you guys on the other side. Keep your support on, subscribe to the prescript. We'll come back again very soon.